the next few days, The Athletic is just £1 per month for six months. See the link in the description to sign up now. Ahead of Euro 2020, Karim Benzema has returned to the French squad after an absence of more than six years. But how is it that such a talented player and one of European football's premier goalscorers has been in the international wilderness for so long? His absence dates back to November 2015, when Benzema was questioned by French police over his alleged involvement in an attempted blackmailing of former teammate Matteo Valbuena. In July 2015, Valbuena received a phone call informing him of the existence of a sex tape in which he featured. He reported the matter to the police, at which point a criminal investigation began. It is alleged that in October 2015, when the French national team met at Clairefontaine ahead of matches against Armenia and Denmark, Benzema encouraged Valbuena to deal directly with the blackmailers. According to the latter, in an interview with Le Monde, Benzema was not aggressive in his manner of talking and did not encourage him to pay any money, but was insistent that I meet someone. A month later, in November, L'Equipe printed a transcript of the conversation said to be between the Real Madrid forward and a man named Karin Zanati, a childhood friend in which the two discussed the video and his conversation with Valbuena. During the conversation, Benzema admits to having told Valbuena, if you want the video to be destroyed, come and see my friend in Lyon. Zanati denies the charges, but he is allegedly the connection between the blackmailing group and Benzema with the phone conversation central to the investigators' claims that the striker was approached by them to be a middleman in their attempts to extort Valbuena. Naturally, it was a huge scandal in France, and it even drew commentary from, among many others, Manuel Valls, the country's then Prime Minister. In reference to Benzema, Valls said that any athlete who is not exemplary had no place in the French national team. Ahead of Euro 2016, Benzema was declared ineligible for selection a move which provoked him into telling Marca, the Spanish daily, that Deschamps had given into pressure from the racist part of France. Politicians from both parties strenuously denied that race was a motivating factor. Fast forward to the present day, and Benzema's inclusion in the squad for Euro 2020 represents a stunning reversal particularly as Deschamps' priority has always been to maintain squad harmony and because any reconciliation would naturally involve invasive media coverage. But it doesn't seem to have caused too much internal consternation. Kylian Mbappe was quick to endorse Benzema's return, and other players are reportedly excited by Benzema's reinstatement. And it's not a decision that Didier Deschamps has reached lightly. We met, we spoke at length, and then I thought very hard and came to this decision, he told the French media. I needed this chat. He needed this chat. As national team boss, I've always looked beyond my personal case. My responsibility is important. It's bigger than me. So from a football perspective, the saga seems an end. However, legally, it's anything but, even though Benzema has always protested his innocence. Regardless of what happens at Euro 2020, he will be among the five defendants in a trial that will begin in Versailles in October. And if found guilty of complicity in attempted blackmail, could face up to five years in prison. One million subscribers. Thanks for helping us get to the supermassive YouTube number. One million. Oh, we're feeling pretty great, and we hope that you feel great too. And now we're gonna use it as a cynical advertising opportunity to see if you'd like to subscribe to The Athletic. Yes, that's right. For just £1 per month for six months, you can enjoy everything The Athletic has to offer, including the best online coverage of football available with journalists such as David Ornstein, Amy Lawrence and Daniel Taylor. There's in-depth coverage of every Premier League team, not just the Big Six, not to mention journalists covering 10 other sports, yeah. The Athletic is the place for the people who are really loving football, who want the conclusive take on the interesting stories. One pound per month now, for a period lasting six whole months, yeah. Theathletic.com slash T for football.